Hello everybody, welcome to some more tarot cards. I'm the Harbinger and today we are doing a challenge. We are doing the spiral challenge. Now the spiral challenge uh, basically means that uh, you have to build your islands out in a spiral. Uh, th that basically ensures that you have to have um, uh, at the most uh, two adjacencies to each island, which will make things uh, a lot more complicated when it comes to um, uh, what kind of combos you can do. Uh, also, I'm going to restrict myself to no paid rerolls, which will make it uh, slightly har harder. So, uh, to uh, uh, finish this, I have um, some ideas of what we need to have uh, for success, uh, but uh, those are no guarantees. So, uh, let's see. Uh, I think one of the main uh, things we need to happen is to have a little bit of luck when it comes comes to which essences we pick up. But um, I think uh, it should be very doable uh, and uh, hopefully we will uh, prove that right. I am going to start by picking, um, picking some early items to gain us that uh, early production of stuff. Maybe if we are manage to build some corn around here, we can have a smelter in the middle and that will produce us uh, good amounts of uh, popcorn, which is a great, great early uh, money maker. Of course, we do need some more water production, so we can put that over here and there. And uh, yeah, hopefully this will work. Uh, we can't gain more free revolts, we can, might as well spend one of them. And let's... I think we really want to look for more corn, so yeah, thank you, I'll take the corn. And let's try to uh, focus this around uh, here. Now we will be having a slight clutter uh, from all the water chickens and stuff uh, in the beginning. Uh, I think we can have the smelter around here and it should be able to, it should be able to gain stuff from a lot of different things. Uh, we have to actually pick uh, one of these now. Uh, we could also do some wheat sunflower stuff. Uh, that's nice for money and for electricity. So let's do this. Uh, of course, we actually need electricity for this to work. So we have to hold off a little bit. Anyway, uh, we can plant another of these. Let's take some more corn. Uh, we are, of course, now also beginning to experience that we don't have enough water production. That might be an issue. Let's see. The water chicken helps, uh, helps a little bit, but yeah, I think we need to accept placing a fence over there. Uh, we could rebuild, but let's instead take the fuel peanuts, as we would be, would be needing at least some of that. And let's try to avoid uh, losing crops. So let's do this. Uh, let's see. Uh, neither of these are particularly good for us. But let's take the paste bloom, just because that's at least somewhat helpful. And here, now we can uh, place some more stuff. And let's place the fuel producing uh, ones also. Uh, neither of these, thank you. Uh, I will take the smelter. And uh, hopefully we can... Uh, Make this work somehow. Uh, let's see. Yeah, now these are producing uh, quite a lot. And if we are placing these here and here, uh, and the smelter over here, we should encounter more problems. But uh, in the meantime, it's at least producing uh, producing popcorn uh, in some of the turns in between. Uh, let's see more corn over here uh, we can afford to we can afford to go out over here let's see this is outside popcorn range so we can place more fuel peanuts over here and uh, yeah let's place water chicken and uh, the corn uh, let's take some more fuel production let's see uh, grapes produce uh, netto one while the few wheat produces net of five, so they, they are much better. Let's take those. And uh, place them over here. Uh, main issue of the fuel wheat is, of, co of course, they, they use uh, food. Uh, 
we don't want either of these, uh, but we could survive taking the crow. But we have three rerolls, so let's spend one of them and take the watery three. Yes, thank you. That will help a lot uh, by giving us more water production, which is uh, which is sorely needed. And let's place these then, since we know some more water production is coming up. Um, and place it over here. Is that the best use of it? Uh, we are going to impact some more corn production over here. Yeah, let's do this. And place the fuel weed. I want at least one of the more fuel peanuts there. Let's see. We should uh, probably also plan to do... Uh, a cow play uh, in the not too distant uh, future. So let's take the pasteurizer and hope that uh, that will pay off. And take some more here. And uh, yeah, more water or rabbits or beans. Let, let's take some waters and uh, maybe increase these guys. Uh, it should be pretty efficient in increasing uh, production over there. Uh, final corn, so we can start to produce more corn over here. How much popcorn are we producing? We're producing some, but not a lot. Uh, I mean, this is better than placing a peanut there, so let's do this. And uh, let's hold off on placing the second water tree. Uh, Mill will uh, get some... Um, Get some flour for us, I think, and it costs uh, fuel, so it will be a decent, uh, decent contribution. Um, mm -mm. Uh, uh, do we do? I think we do home sweet home. That will give us a lot more, um, a lot more uh, capacity capacity for the fences we already have. Yeah, let's place this over here and there, and uh, the mill here can take in. Uh, weed from all of these islands and turn that into flour. Uh, also, we can uh, in the future uh, put that into a smelter to make tortillas, which is great. Uh, let's see more corn, yes, please. And uh, fill up this island as well. So, electric carrots, that's great. Then we can start to uh, produce, uh, produce electricity. I like this, like the thought of that. And let's do this. And let's place uh, the electricity producing carrots over here and they can have a water tank, water, uh, water well, I mean. And here and here. And now we can soon place uh, that corn, a smelter for the tortillas. Nice, nice, nice. And that's there. Here and like this. Um, we don't need to place these yet. Uh, last corn for this island. Now we are producing uh, plenty, plenty of uh, popcorn. Uh, I don't want either. Oh, I mean, we can use lakes. Lakes are pretty good for us. We can uh, house the cows on lakes, and um, and they will. Uh, uh, still produce the things they are supposed to produce. Uh, placing a corn here isn't the worst thing in the world. It will uh, produce 10 extra. Uh, yeah. So these three islands are now going to be lakes for cows. We're going to have a paster, um, uh, pasteurizer and fermenters here and uh, all the popsicles we can pick up. And over here, let's start to place these uh, blue weeds uh, like this. Um, where did I want to have the smelter? I think here. Does that make sense? Uh, then it can pick up stuff from the tortilla, and it can uh, uh, fry this, uh, fry this popcorn. Yeah. And let's place the pasteurizer here. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. Ah, uh, we have to live with that. Uh, anyway, giant cows. Uh, 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 uh. So, it's not 
that bad. In theory, we might be able to pick up some more small fences. Uh, do I? I don't have any more small fences there. Uh, what we also could do is to start another another place where we want to have cows and just forget about this guy. And instead we can place rabbits there so they can produce more electricity from the carrots. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Okay, this is now the cow place. Uh, let's see, barns? Uh, I'm not feeling barns. Uh, so let's. I don't feel another mirror, and I don't feel another centrifuge, so let's re roll once. And fence. Medium fences, that's not what we want. Uh, but I guess they are as good as. Uh, as good as. Uh, as good as a uh, lake, so let's take it there. Then, of course, there's a question what to do with the other fences. Uh, let's leave them be for now. Uh, I forgot myself. Okay, we have to we have to pick either of these, and why not take the giant sunflower and put it over here next to the pasteurizer? That does nothing for us. Uh, elite cows is a very very good uh, upgrade uh, for when you have a lot of cows, and we are in the uh, uh, within the realms of uh, benefiting from that in the future. We are planning to do cows, and we are. Uh, still uh, a few 10 days away from uh, bankruptcy so we can afford to implement our strategy. Now, we have to pick uh, uh, either of these. So let's take the sunflowers and place them next, next to this uh, blue wheat, uh, which will increase their production and make them produce electricity. Uh, and repeaty uh, whoop. Now placing a crusher here would be quite decent, or we are already producing uh, producing some flower paste, so we are um, actually really good. Uh, let's see, solar panel, biofuel generator, or crabs. I'm not too keen on either of these, but I guess we can do crabs for the rest of the fences. Uh, we can place crabs here and chickens here. And hopefully that will be beneficial. Uh, let's see, we wanted to put rabbits over there, so we are going to do that. Oh, 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 oh. And they should produce some amount of electricity now, I think. Uh, let's see, we can skip these. We can still skip, but it's starting to get uh, scary. And let's see. I mean, we can still reroll once. I'm not too keen on either of these. I guess apple trees are not uh, too bad since they help cows. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do apple trees and we can maybe push one, um, one single uh, water cow here and it should be good. Even though they are increasing our uh, Water production a lot. Uh, let's see, fermenters, they are great. They are a part of the yogurt uh, shenanigans and uh, they can also be used for other stuff in the future. Now, are we producing anything else worth fermenting? I don't think we are, so let's keep on going. Uh, neither of these, thank you. And let's do a king crab for the crabs. Oop. And uh, oof, these aren't great for us. Uh, producing fuel instead of water, that's harsh. We are trained, have quite a few animals and we have quite a little fuel production. <sighs> fuel graves is too cheeky, so I don't want to take that. And um, yeah, uh, soy production, I don't really care for. Uh, it just gives soy, which takes a lot of water, and uh, yeah, cows will eat them, and yeah, I don't really understand it. You can use it and uh, make it into tofu, but um, it's not really it's not really my cup of tea. I might do it sometime. Uh, let's do black water uh, and uh, focus on future, future fuel production. 
uh, after we pick all the popsicles we can get, of course, of course, of course, we need one single pisteraser. Let's not forget about that. And uh, there that is, taking that, putting it here, and we are going to be pretty happy when we are jumping from 25k a turn into 22k a turn. That seems wrong. Aren't you producing more? Hmm. Is it because of this guy? No. Hmm. We have to uh, figure that out in the future. In the meantime, let's take some more cows since we are forgetting that we are also uh, supposed to be thinking about our fuel production. This is growing scary. I think we need to reroll and hope for the best. We need to pick either of these. Um, let's see. I mean, we could probably use some more corn, I guess. Uh, fuel tanks, three of them, they produce uh, 20 fuel and cost 120 um, upkeep. Uh, it's, uh, it is the best thing, uh, giant cows won't produce anything for us since they just cost too much fuel, so yeah, let's do this. And... Let's build out some islands over here and place the fuel here. And uh, let's... Mm, do we have a room for a scarecrow over there? We do. That should, that should produce more fuel. Uh, not much, but it's some... I should have waited for the water tank. I didn't. Uh, ah, well. Let's see. Uh, the smelter help out here. No, it only helps for fuel corn. Mm. We do have two revolts. Uh, spend one of them and the other. And we have to take one of either of these. I'm going to take the. Um, going to take the uh, antenna as they cost less than the solar panel over time. And they also have the ability to produce quite a lot. Uh, let's see. Animal produces two times a turn. Uh, I like the thought of that, so let's do this. And place the antennas over. Let's place antennas over here. Yes, here. And go, and go. Uh, we have to pick either of these. It's going to be a king crab then, which can boost these crabs once we are. We don't have food for crabs, uh, so we have to be thinking about that also. Uh, did I want to take uh, an engineer cow? No. Uh, water tree? Uh, they, it doesn't help. Uh, mm -hmm. Fine, I'll take the grapes, as they in the future can help us uh, do something useful with this uh, fermenter. So let's go here and here and do this. Placing them all over. We have to take either of these. Uh, sure, let's take a smelter so we can produce popcorn from uh, these guys. And uh, let's place the popcorn machine over there. And I guess the fermenter can stay here. Uh, we can reroll. Uh, we don't want any, we need more fuel. We don't get fuel. Grapes is a um, decent alternative. We need a room here for the user. Uh, so let's continue to build over here. Uh, ooh, water tank. Uh, I think that that's the best of them, so I'm going to take that. Uh, popsicles, they are always useful. Now we are full over here. Uh, let's see, Scarecrow Lake. 
Mm. I mean, I'm not a scarecrow for Harris, at least some fuel production. Let's see, uh, <laughs> we don't want to increase uh, the cow uh, fuel cost, but peanut fest uh, will actually help us a lot since we already have some fuel peanut production. So this will um, help us a lot, a lot, a lot. And we are almost in the green, <laughs> almost. Okay, that uh, should be an out soon. Uh, we have rerolls, let's do reroll. No thank you, no thank you, no thank you. Mm, we did make a peanut upgrade, so let's uh, cash in on some of that. Put them over here. And yeah, I think this uh, challenge is uh, going uh, pretty great. Uh, some more corn. Uh, we can uh, make some more corn over here. So we are still a little bit away from uh, having a uh, surviving economy for day 200, but I think we uh, are um, well enough under our way that we can uh, breathe and uh, be fairly sure that we are uh, making uh, making it to the uh, final day. So penguins, they do increase. Adjacent production of crabs if the crabs are on lakes. However, uh, the real benefit is that they give fish and they give fish and they are for time producing a adjacent empty space or lake. Uh, so at least these two will be adjacent empty spaces. So uh, that will be at least some fish production which these need so they can uh, produce uh, at all. And after that, I'll fill it up with chickens so that they can, um, so that they can uh, eat a lot of eggs, or aren't the aren't they producing for some reason? Why aren't you guys producing? You should be producing a lot of fish. Is that because you don't have enough oil? Uh, burgers. Uh, let's see, uh, these, um, these corn are already uh, susceptible for uh, not having uh, not uh, to having different buildings here, so I'm going to place these here. And let's see, a uh, fuel cow could increase her pre-production, but I rather want to use her for this. So, get to place it so we can finally produce all that wine. Uh, do we have a second need for users? Let's see, they uh, sugar apple juice maybe? No, we don't have the room for it. Uh, let's see, sugarcane. I mean, we could have it uh, in the back for if we, for some reason in future, want to do soy. I don't think we will. They have only one, uh, one range. Let's uh, hold off on placing it for now. And let's reroll some. Uh, let's see. Did we need a place? No, we have placed that. Um, wheat mill. No, I don't think we need either of these. Uh, we have to take either of these, and we were talking about taking some chickens. So let's take some chickens. Even though that will also increase our watery needs, at least some. But chickens aren't that. Aren't that. Uh, uh, demanding, let's see. Uh, only a place in 1-3. Uh, does that impact us any? I don't think it will, so we are instead just producing a lot more. Yeah, we'll be getting, we will we'll be getting more uh, fuel production. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, we have to take these. Uh, should we take soy then? Yeah, let's, let's, let's try to uh, make, uh, Soy work. I'm going to place a user here then and some soy here. Soy costs a lot of water. So there is probably some trick to it. We maybe we want a water tank and a water tree to make it work. Uh, also, we probably want a crusher for the peanuts. <laughs> But you don't want two of them. Let's re-roll. 
Let's spend the reroll. Ooh, the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny would probably help us a lot by uh, making sure that we can succeed. Yeah, let's take the Easter Bunny. Uh, we are doing a challenge and uh, all help is welcome in challenges. So, where do we place the Easter Bunny? Uh, the only thing that feels sensible for me is to... I was going to say it was to place it uh, here, but I see that these apple trees are actually producing quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of apples. <coughs> Oof. Sorry about that. Uh, we could also place it here next to the other rabbits uh, for the um, for the uh, sunflower seeds, but I think placing it here is uh, sufficient for us. So let's do this and uh, be happy. So, how much uh, chocolate are we producing? Uh, 100k. Okay, it's uh, it's not game breaking, but it's uh, fairly decent. Uh, okay, we have to take uh, one of these uh, chocolate factory. I don't think that impacts the uh, Easter Bunny chocolate. Uh, we were talking about the water cow, uh, but I don't think that uh, still counts since we are in, in, in the dire need of more. more uh, more uh, fuel rather than water. Uh, sugar canes can be eaten by the users, so let's do this. Now I need to remember to leave room for other stuff. Giant cows, thank you. We want them in uh, in uh, over here where they can help us produce more yogurt. And let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We can reroll. Uh, no, snows are cool. They can help us increase um, production for uh, the Easter Bunny and stuff. Ten a pop, or do we want to increase our fuel production? We could do. No, no, no. The gnome eats fuel also. We'd have to. We'd have to have it nearby here somehow. Hmm. I mean, uh, sure, let's uh, take some more chocolate. Uh, let's see, we have to take one of these. I'm going to take the giant chickens as they can uh, sometime in the future maybe be turned into crab stuff. Place the last one. Um, we can place it over here, I think, or with this chicken. That chicken needs a mama. And let's see, do we take the cows? I think we do. I think we did. Popcorn, awesome. Popcorn will make uh, we make our crabs eat and make our penguins eat and make everybody eat and produce a lot more stuff. Really, 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 really happy about that. And let's say put the final cows over there. Uh, we need more fuel, so let's pick the fuel alternative and place it over here. Maybe we should invest in some uh, biofuel generators. That would actually be pretty, pretty nice. Yeah. I'll wonder about that when that comes up. A cross, cross can help us produce more wheat and grapes, so I don't see why not. Uh, and yeah, we are now um, officially guaranteed to make it to day uh, 200 as we have enough uh, enough monies. Uh, I'm not in a hurry, so uh, I'm going to not sprint. But let's pick up some more fuel since fuel is what makes our animals go around. And uh, let's see, uh, fisherman hats. Do we need that? I don't think we because we are. Already producing other stuff. Let's take an antenna and put it over. Where did we do? I think we did it here. And yeah, let's double check. Are we producing crab stuff? We are producing crab stuff. Nice, nice, nice. And we're producing crab stuff for about 100k. Uh, yeah. Uh, we can reroll, but we have a biofuel generator. Let's take that and let's see where can we put it for instant awesome effect. 
I think here would be very, very nice. Yeah, we lose some income from the sugar, but we gain uh, a lot of survivability for, for this guy. Or we can put it here to burn those two core. No, let's put, let's put it here. Put it here to be safe. And we have some weird bug going on, but uh, that's uh, just going to have to be okay. Let's do some more soy, since I promised you would try to do soy. Uh, for the soy, we need uh, a user, and we need a fermenter, and we need a fridge. Okay, we can do that. Um, so let's do a uh, use. I mean, we all have the user. We need a fermenter and a fridge over here. And we need room for a water tree and a water tank. Uh, let's re-roll, re-roll, and I'm not really happy about other this, so I'm going to have to re-roll again. And the fermenter was something we were looking for, so I'm going to take that. Uh, chocolate addiction, I don't think that will help us. Um, wheat expansion, that will just uh, mess up future plans. Uh, we are not in the... I don't think we are ever going to be surprised about how much water we need since we aren't picking, uh, we aren't using water for animals. I don't th I think the miracle is pretty, uh, pretty safe pickup. So uh, fermenting tofu over there, and uh, we can freeze it over there. Yeah, floating tofu uh, water tank, nice. Uh, I'm going to put the water tank uh, here. That will also increase the uh, also increase the food production since we are increasing the sugarcane production. And uh, I think we were full on cows, so let's let's see. Are we are we in the, within the realms of producing anything fun with the um, with the oven? I think not. Uh, the oven has uh, uh, mainly uh, hard to hard to make production chains and. Uh, and yeah, yeah, I don't think the oven is uh, something we are doing in a challenge room like this. Uh, let's instead take some more water chickens and put them into our water, water chicken uh, fence over here, enclosure, I think they're called. And uh, yeah, we have room for more grips. So let's take them and put them over here and here and here. Oops, I placed the fermenter. That's uh, nothing crucial. We can also place some more fuel, uh, regular grapes over there. And let's, we don't need either of these, so we can reroll it once and find the fridge. Nice. Okay, let's see what this uh, tofu business is uh, all about. Uh, we are producing uh, uh, some tofu. I guess we could maybe try to pick up um, pick up the tofu uh, essence if we are uh, interested with it uh, in the future. Uh, let's see. Let's take the antenna for more electricity. Put the antenna over here. And let's take a reroll and solar panels. Okay. Uh, let's see, uh, we can make uh, corn uh, cost no water, but use energy instead and make the corn double its production and increase its gold. Yeah, let's do this. It will make us a lot more popcorn. And there we have it. We managed to win with the uh, spiraling doom uh, challenge, but uh, I think we uh, can go for a few more days to see how far we can get with, uh, with this build. And yeah, uh, let's see, I don't think we want to do beans, I don't think we want to do crushers, I don't think we want to do fuel and freezers, but we have to pick either, so I'm taking beans. Beans can increase uh, increase our uh, uh, sunflower production over here. So let's do that. And let's do some gnomes, I think. Uh, and uh, yeah. We can re-roll again, so let's do that, and take water chickens. This water is already always nice to have. 
Uh, let's see, we did pick up uh, corn assistance, so uh, let's take some corn. We can put that down here. And it's not going to be horrible for us, it's going to be great actually. How much are we spend making on popcorn? Only 50 <coughs> 50k, I'm sorry. Uh, it's yogurt, that's the main, uh, main income, yogurt and... Um, Crab legs is some income. Uh, of course, chocolate is also um, just as good as the yogurt. And yeah, that's the two. That's the two main sources we have. And let's see. Let's do some more stuff. Uh, I can take, take some more corn. I mean, uh, the corn is my maybe not the best uh, not the best strategy to increase our longevity here um, but uh, yeah it's uh, it's something that's uh, easy to know what we're supposed to do with uh, let's see place the king crab over there that should in theory double our um, double our uh, uh, crab leg production And uh, a scarecrow, uh, uh, an antenna mixer, cocoa tree, smelter. Okay, I'm going to have to take the, take the smelter then. And uh, flush, flush is interesting. Uh, I don't think it will help us get much further, uh, but neither will the other cards. So let's take the flush and place this there so we don't have to pick it up in flush. And we can take, we have to take either of these. These two cost us money and do us nothing. So I'm going to take the blue wheat and increase our sunflower production. And let's take some more grapes. And I'm going to have to start building more over here. Skipped one click early, but uh, I don't think it matters too much in the big hole. Uh, and yeah, I think we are just going to accept that we are encountering the end of this run pretty soon. Unless, of course, we can pull something really awesome out of a hat, uh, which I think is uh, pretty unlikely. And uh, yep. This seems to be it. Uh, thanks a lot for following uh, this uh, challenge run. Uh, I thought it was going to be slightly harder uh, to make it to day um, 200, but uh, we had some uh, decent luck in picking up uh, Elite Cows, which is a really good upgrade. Uh, also picking up uh, Gluttonous Feast and uh, Popcorn and uh, Blackwater made our, made our animals uh, into um, production machines and uh, made us a lot, a lot of money. Thanks a lot for following. I've been the Harbinger and uh, I'm signing out.